All we need is another 1911. Where am I going to put these? Stay tuned for our gun detectives. Welcome to another episode of Air Gun Detectives. Today I'm going to talk about an upcoming series for you that I'm putting together for 2022. It's going to start in January and we're going to feature 1911 CO2 pistols. But before we get started, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down in the corner. It doesn't cost you anything. It's absolutely free, but it really helps support the channel. Also, when you have an opportunity, check out my website at www.airgundetectives.com. On that site, I'll have t-shirts, I've got hats, I've got my Generation 2 bipods, and I'm going to be putting a lot more inventory up there, so check the air gun supply on there. All right, let's get back to the subject on hand. It's 1911s. First of all, let me give you um, a little background of 1911s, where they even came from, where they were originated real. In, believe it or not, in 1911, hello, that's where the 1911 comes from, John Browning, yes, the same John Browning that does the Browning handguns. He's the, actually the designer and the inventor of the 1911 pistol. They wanted something for the military um, that would have a lot more stopping power, and that's the 45 caliber. They wanted something for more close-range uh, close combat, and that's how the 45 was uh, developed and designed. And it was actually adapted um, by the military in 1913, the U.S. military. That was their sidearm for many, many, many years, until more recent years, and they switched to a 9mm. But I love the 1911s. I love the design. That's like the, that's the modern-day semi-automatic is based on the 1911 design. I carried a 45 for years. Max does too. In fact, Max still carries his 45. What we're going to do is we're going to do a preview of all the guns that I'm going to feature. And basically how I'm going to lay this out is I'm going to do my regular air gun reviews, whether it be brake barrel, CO2s, PCPs, whatever it may be. But once a month, I'm going to feature a new 1911 that we're going to do a full review on. So this is going to be an ongoing series. But I'm going to give you a preview of the different guns that we're actually going to look at over the next year. I love 1911s, but at the same time I hate them because I like them so much I keep purchasing them. So I probably have almost every 1911 air gun uh, that was made pretty much in the last decade or so. So let's go over and look at some of these different guns. So I love the video editing because I can just make things appear. Watch this. There you go. Here's our first one right here. We're going we're gonna to actually go over the Colt family first. But this is probably more of an authentic looking 1911 than any of them. In fact, this right here is a Colt commemorative. This is a World War II. They made 500 of these and I have number, I don't know, 300 and something here if I can see it right. 314 out of 500. But anyway, this is a, this is a nice looking uh, commemorative. These are actually uh, made by KWC and they, they have a bunch of different brands. But just check this out. It's got the antique finish and the whole bit. This will be one I'll be featuring. So let's look at the next one here real quick. All right, this is the Colt Commander. And as you can see, I did some custom work on this one. But uh, these are one of the most realistic blowbacks. They really are. They have that full blowback and the dropout magazine, the whole bit. But if you look at the finish on this one, I totally customized this. This originally was all black. All right, let's try another one. All right, this one's a Colt uh, Special Combat. Now, actually, I put custom grips on this, grips I made myself, some custom wood grips. And this one's a non-blowback, but we'll get into it. You can see it's got this nice two-tone finish on it. it. Looks really good. It's a pretty heavy, hefty gun, that's for sure. All right, let's look at the next one. This is a Blackwater version. This is a Colt Blackwater version. And yes, I did put some custom grips on it. But you can see that it's even got the little um, bear paw on it. That's another good looking 1911. All right. And the next one. Now we have the Colt Defender. This is like a compact version. Yes, I did do some custom work to this, but we'll, we'll get over that when we do the review. But that's a little, that's a little teeny Colt. It's kind of a fun gun. All right. Let's set this back here. Go on to the next. And last but not least, we got this CBQ here. And it's got that desert tan. Pretty cool. It's a pretty good, it's a pretty cool gun. And 
they called the uh, CQBP, which is the Close Quarter Battle Pistol. That's what that stands for, but the Close Quarter Battle Pistol. But anyway, that's a good-looking 1911 as well. Let's show you the next one. Okay, now we're going to get into the SIG series. These are the different SIG uh, 1911s. And this one, these ones are actually put out by SIG, but this is their We the People version. It's really cool. See the stars on the grip there? Kind of has that aged look. And it's got a nice little 1776 engraved right on the side there. So that's pretty nice. And let me show you the next one. This is the Max Michelle version. It's, it's pretty neat as well. And these, these actually shoot with some pretty good velocity. Notice the flat trigger on there. But anyway, that's the Max Michelle version. Show you the next one. This is a Spartan version. Check this one out. Got the little Spartan helmet there. Front. It's kind of an unusual color too. But it's a pretty cool gun. And the next one. This is one of the uh, original SIGs. This one's not actually put out by SIG. This was just, I guess, approved by them. This is uh, one. This didn't come from their air gun manufacturer. I've had this one for a while. It's a non-blowback. This is their, if you can see here, this is their GSR version, which is the Granite Series Rail is what they call it. So it's a replica of their Granite Series Rail. But it, it's, a, it's a fun little gun as well. And it's got a full-out dropout magazine too with a CO2 in it. But those are good-looking guns. Yeah, so, so there's some varieties of the SIGs. There's some that SIG Air actually has made and put out, and then there's some just with the SIG name, but are done by other manufacturers completely. So let's look at the next one. This is one of my absolute favorites. Really hard to find. It was manufactured by a different company, but this one is great. It's got the full blowback and uh, full dropout magazine, and then I really like the grip on it. It's got like a Pacmer tire type grip it's all a rubber grip on it it's really nice so that's what we got as far as our sig 1911s so next i'm going to show you what we got as far as uh, swiss arms goes okay i really like the uh, swiss arms these are um, also made by or manufactured i say by kwc but there's such a variety and i'm going to show you a couple different varieties here now i did put different grips on this but this is kind of their stainless version same thing Good looking 1911 though. It really is a good looking one. All right, now I have something special coming up for you. Check this one out. This here is another Swiss Arms. This is in the Desert Tan. But if you'll notice, this has a mock suppressor on it, which I call a barrel shroud. But I put a custom barrel on this, a barrel I made from scratch and put on this. And if you also notice, it has an extended magazine as well. So, but we're gonna feature that one for you. And I have another one to show you. Look at this. This was one that was originally in black, so I polished it, made it a two-tone. Little larger suppressor, but this has a custom barrel in it as well. So we're gonna show you how well these perform. And then again, I have the longer magazine. So these are, these are pretty trick, that's for sure. So that's our Swiss Arms family. So this is part of the Armor Works family, and they primarily do airsoft, but they actually did some steel BB ones. So, but these are pretty trick if you look at the difference uh, in uh, the triggers, the sights, that's the fiber optic sights, just the the uh, the different finishes on them. And this is pretty much a stock gun. This is how it came, but we'll see how well these perform. So let me show you another one, another one in the same family. Very similar, but just a different finish. As you say, you still have the fiber optic uh, sights on them and uh, nice big grip, and they all have uh, magwell guides on them too, which is kind of nice. So those are pretty trick. But wait till you see this next one. You think this is trick? Look at this one. This is their wind velocity model. It's got a little bit longer barrel on it, and it's shrouded all the way to the end. But look at the markings on it and the designs on it. Even in the magwell, it's pretty trick. Of course, I put a red dot on it and a laser on it, but we'll cover this. We'll cover it in full detail. But this is a pretty trick looking gun, if I do say so myself. All right, let's check out the next one. This is actually a Winchester. Notice it has a nice two-tone finish to it. These actually have a stick magazine. See that? They're a smaller magazine. But I'll get into the details on these, but good looking, good looking 1911. And these actually perform quite well. So we'll show you that as far as that goes. All right, let's see what else we got. How about, let's, how about take a look at this one? 
This is a very inexpensive daisy, but it's pretty much all polymer or plastic, but they're very, very reasonable in price. But they are quite the performers, that's for sure. So we'll show you actually a detailed review on these, and that means these are actually really affordable. So let's look at the next one. This is one made by STI, and it's, it's, very, uh, it's a very smooth looking gun. It also has a metal stick magazine, as you can see here. But it's a nice looking gun. Feels actually really good in the hand, that's for sure. And let's look at another one. And finally, we have the Barra. And this is beautiful. It's got the nice rail on the bottom of it. It's got uh, the nice three dot sights on it. Yeah, it's a, this is quite the gun. So we're gonna feature every one of these guns for you guys, every one of them. So as again, monthly, we're gonna pick a different one and then we'll go into details and the performance like we usually do. But we're gonna do that in addition to our other two reviews. So this should be a lot of fun. So that's gonna be uh, uh, coming up in January. And don't forget too, in January, I'm gonna get you some footage from the SHOT Show and I'll have those videos out as soon as I possibly can. So we can maybe look at some new upcoming products, see what we can look forward to as far as the future goes. But with that, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this preview video. Um, I really do love the 1911s. And don't forget, remember, this is my, my little mascot air gun detective gun is the 1911 with our, this one even has air gun detective engraved on it. So that's how much I really like the 1911 series. So again, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Don't forget, this is where we take the mystery out of the air gun. So until next time, I hope you're getting a lot of shooting in. I hope your families are all doing well. God bless and take care. Till next time.